I'm Tori. Good boy. I was a communication specialist in the Army National Guard. Transitioned to making cakes and then went straight from there into oil and gas. I've been in oil and gas for nine years. Four of that I've been doing rope access inspection. When I am wearing this, I'll be hanging around 200, 250 feet over water sometimes. I won't be needing my rope access gear for this one. We'll be flying drones. Not very many people take a helicopter to work. It's pretty awe-inspiring to see the platforms out here in the middle of the ocean in 3,000 feet of water. The sheer size is pretty insane. And then you land here, and it's just gorgeous. I love it. I really enjoy working in Mississippi Canyon. Mars, Ursa, Vito, Olympus. They're floating cities with hundreds of people on them, working diligently to keep the lights on back on. It's my job to help keep it that way. These platforms see hurricanes. Test, test. They see a lot of sunlight, high waves. Watching. Taking off. Inspections really help to keep this platform running safely and efficiently. Awesome. There's a lot of really hard to access areas. My job is to find damage, diagnose any issues, and mitigate the risks to personnel and to the process. You're going to have some corrosion, but knowing when that's a problem comes with experience. We've got high-powered cameras, thermal cameras, gas detectors. We even have drones that can fly in confined spaces, build 3D models, and take ultrasonic readings. I'm looking for defects that are as small as a 32nd of an inch. That's sub-millimeter. Previously, we would have been doing this via rope access. We've taken about a whole day. Now, we're able to do it in seven minutes. Drone inspections tend to be faster and don't put people in harm's way. All right. <laughs> I look back on, on my younger self making cakes and I never thought that I would be here today doing what I do. I'm really excited to use all my expertise and my experience and put it towards this new technology. It's good for inspection, it's good for shell. It's good for the future.